there's a child that's there that passed as well. But I also had a sister that was stillborn that would have been two years older than me. That's the soul that's here. Your mother's back with that child. And first of all, when I'm connecting, I keep hearing I'm the mother. Whose mom passed right there? My best friends. Your mother's here. Because she kept saying to me, Matt, you have to come over. I have to talk to my daughter. I have to talk to my daughter. And first of all, I know how hard this is to connect with your mom like this. Because first of all, she keeps saying to me, you keep going back over her passing again and again and again and again. She goes, and Matt, can you tell my daughter that... I do not want her to have to go through that pain. Your mom is telling me, all right, that first of all, she was sick before her passing here in the physical world. Yes, says, she just died in September from lung cancer. I know. She says to me, but Matt, she goes, I got to tell you one thing, that I fought this as hard as I possibly could. But she shows me that this wasn't just in her lungs. I also felt it went to her, her esophagus when I'm connecting with her. She yeah. shows me when I'm speaking to her, and correct me if I'm wrong, there was a blockage right here when I'm speaking to her. So there was either some type of a mass or some type of a tumor that was forming because she shows me <clears throat> that she would have issues not only just being able to breathe, but also being able to eat and swallow, she's showing me. It's probably why she stopped eating. Mm -hmm. She keeps telling me she would feel nauseous. And I keep seeing you saying like, oh, are you going to eat that? Eat this, eat that. And you know what's so crazy is I see that your mom used to get like little cravings of weird things and you'd, you'd like get her food. And I see you like giving her things to eat. And then your mom's like, no, I'm not hungry. Oh no, I can't fit anymore. And I also see that she couldn't get comfortable because when I'm connecting with your mom, I keep feeling her body and I keep feeling her going like this in her chair. She used to have a chair and she was yep. trying to like change her positions and change how she was. She was she, never comfortable. She said to me, it's because she had that pushing right here. I can feel it when I'm connecting with her. And when I'm connecting with your mom, she had a very, she was always very sensitive here in this world. Her body was very sensitive here in the physical. She said, there was some silent messages that we didn't get to talk about here in this world. I'm sorry I have to tell you this from your mom now, but your mother says to me that you didn't want to believe that she was going to pass. She says to me, Matt, she goes, you know that my daughter kept holding on to hope, holding on to hope, thinking that maybe something could be done because your mom does show me in the beginning her going in for procedures here in this world. And in the beginning, she got some promising results because I see that. Yep. Your mom said to me this, she goes, Matt, tell my daughter I was going in for the procedures for her, but I knew I was going to die. And she said to me, that's what I wish that I would have gotten to tell her here in this world. I just played along with it and played along with it. She says, because I didn't want to upset her. Because I would have done anything my daughter wanted. I would have gone through to any doctor. I would have gone through any procedure and through any surgery if it brought her a little bit of hope. She says, but I knew I wasn't going to make it. She keeps talking about, talk about the necklace, talk about the necklace. I have her necklace on that was on her when we had the viewing. I took her necklace off and I wear it all the, all the time. That's what she's going to be talking about because she keeps bringing that through. She says, please let her know about the necklace. So when you took that off of her in the casket and then you put it on yourself, when she passed, please know it's her way of acknowledging on the other side, she knows that you keep that on her. And no matter where you go with that necklace on, your mom goes with you because she keeps saying to me, I'm living life with her now. I'm living life with her now. She says to me, Matt, my daughter keeps asking for more time. All she wanted was for more time with me because you feel like her passing was so rushed. Mm -hmm. But your mom says to me, you need to think about it through my eyes. She says, I get to see all that I wanted to see with you. And she says to me, when I left this world, it was not a sad goodbye. She says, because I lived such a beautiful life here in this world. So your mom says to me, thank you for staying close with me. Thank you for the way that you took care of me. She says, and I want my daughter to know that every day that goes by, my soul is there and with her. And also, there's a child that's there that passed as well. I keep seeing a little baby that's here, that's on the other side. I had a miscarriage, but I also had a sister that was stillborn that would have been two years older than me. That's the soul that's here. Your mother's back with that child. Your mother just said to me, Matt, I can't believe I saw this. I, I found this child again. I can't believe I found this child again. She said, because every day I lived with the pain of not knowing whatever happens to this baby. Yeah, they never knew. They did, every, she was healthy when she was born, but she was just stillborn. They couldn't find anything medically that caused it. She tells me when she died, the first person that she saw was that baby. That baby was put back into her arms by her mom, she tells me. She says, when I saw that baby, she says, I knew I was in heaven. She goes, and that instantly, 
the grief and the pain that I felt all my life was gone because throughout my whole life, I worried about this child. I wondered what happened to this child. She says, and at the end of my life, I found peace and closure. And I need you to know that. Oh my God. So your mom says to me, the one thing she'll always remember from you is that last kiss you gave her before she left this world. Because I see you kissing her and saying, I love you, mom. I love you, mom. She says to me, Matt, please tell her that I brought that kiss to heaven with me. And she wants to thank you for laying and staying with her before she died. Oh my God. Because she says, Matt, the last thing that I remember before I left this world is all the love that my daughter had for me. She says, so please thank her for me. Please let her know that I'm okay and that I am safe and at peace. I really hope that this helped you. Yes, it did. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to leave you with that. <laughs>